Hi, I'm Chef Ange. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. On today's episode, I want to show you an Italian American classic. This is sausage and peppers. The sausage and peppers recipe happens in a single pan. It uses all simple ingredients that you already have on hand and you just need some sausage and some vegetables. This is a really special dish for me because this is a dish that I grew up eating as a child uh, all the way through adulthood and it just reminds me so much of nice pleasant memories with my family. For the full ingredient list and directions, check the description box below. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you can find out when I drop new recipe and tip videos every week. Let's get cooking. The first step to getting this recipe going is slicing up some tricolor bell pepper. So I cut all these peppers in half and I got a red one, a yellow one, and a green one. And once I cut them in half, I'm just pulling my knife tip from one end of the cutting board to the other, just keeping it in contact the whole time and just cutting some nice equal uh, strips of these peppers without getting my fingers. And I'm going to do the same thing with the onions, except I'm probably going to slice them just a little thinner than the peppers. and. Then we're going to chop up some garlic, but I want the garlic to be really, really fine. So I'll keep running my rocker chopper through this till we get it to a nice, fine consistency. So now I'm going to heat up this cast iron pan over a medium high heat or probably even over a high heat. And I'm going to get a sear on these Italian sausages. So it's really important that this pan is hot enough before these sausages go in. So as soon as I added the oil, I could see that it was smoking and I know that the pan was hot enough. It's very important to get color on these sausages in order to get deep flavors into the dish. We don't need to cook the sausages all the way. Just get a sear on the outside of them because these are going to finish cooking inside the pan with the peppers, the onions, and a little bit of a sauce that we're going to make. Also, these sausages have rendered off some fat into the pan, which is going to give additional flavor to these onions and to the peppers that we're going to throw in. So I'm going to spread these onions out in the pan to make sure that we're maximizing the surface area in contact with the pan so we can try to get a little bit of color. So the color on the onions, same thing as the sausages, we're looking for flavor. Once those get a little bit of color and they start to turn a little translucent, we're going to throw in our peppers and we're going to mix those around so the peppers start to coat with the oil and the sausage fat that's inside the pan so it could start the cooking process of softening up those peppers. So now we're going to season with some salt and some fresh ground black pepper. Fresh ground is usually better than the pre-ground stuff, but if you have the pre-ground stuff, you can use that or get yourself a pepper mill. And now we're going to mix that seasoning throughout the peppers and onions. We're also changing which peppers and onions are in contact with the pan because I still have this pan over a pretty high heat because I'm trying to get a char on them before I have to turn the heat down and they release their moisture. Now we're going to throw in that minced garlic and we're gonna mix that in so that starts to distribute its flavor throughout the dish. It'll become fragrant in a minute or two. And at this point too, I also added in some white wine and some white wine vinegar. We missed that in the editing process, sorry about that. And now here's some fresh dried oregano straight out of my mom's stash. Thanks mom. And here is the super flavor enhancer, the chicken bouillon paste from Better Than Bouillon. This stuff's amazing, gives such a deep flavor to dishes, so fast and so easy, total cheat code. And now mix that until it's distributed well throughout the pan. We're going to mix that in there till it's well coated and kind of spread all throughout the peppers and the onions. Now we're going to put in some tomatoes. So these are whole San Marzano tomatoes out of the can. I'm going to pick a tomato right out of there and then I'm going to pull it apart by hand so it's nice and chunky. The tomatoes have like that inner stem that's got the seeds in it. I'm going to try not to put that in there. I'll pull that and I'll leave that to the side. But I'm going to take a couple of these tomatoes and just keep tearing them apart by hand. Any juice that goes inside the pan is totally okay because that's just going to add a little bit of moisture. But I'm not going to pour any of the sauce that those are sitting in, just tearing those tomatoes up by hand. Once I tear up a couple of them into those nice chunky pieces, we're going to mix that in there. Maybe you can't find these in the store or you want to use fresh tomatoes. I'll just insert them at the exact same spot. Just chop them up nice and fine. So now let's put those sausages that we browned before back in there. And we'll nestle those nice and deep into those peppers and onions and get them towards the bottom of the pan. But you want them surrounded by the peppers and the onions. These are going to cook in there all the way through while the peppers and onions finish cooking. All of these things are going to release moisture into the pan and then just create that really nice sauce that gives this dish a really nice finished touch and really pulls it all together. 
So I have this over like a medium heat right now, and we're gonna let this heat up. Now I don't have a lid for this pan, so I'm just gonna take some aluminum foil. I'll crimp it around the edges the best that I can to lock in that heat. And now I'm gonna drop the heat to low, and I'm gonna let this simmer form anywhere to 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, if I need to check at any time if this is done, you can clearly see that there's now a sauce inside the pan. I'm gonna try one of these peppers, and these peppers were still a little bit hard, so I'm gonna throw that aluminum foil right back on, and we're gonna let this sit for another five to 10 minutes. Try not to burn your hands. Don't do this without gloves like I'm doing right now like an idiot. After about five, 10 minutes, everything's fully cooked. We may wanna reduce this sauce down a little bit if it's a little too watery. So we'll just let it continue to simmer with the cover off and that'll help thicken up the sauce a little bit. But you definitely wanna see some liquid in there cause that's one of the best parts about this dish. The sauce is the boss. And now this dish is super piping hot so we're gonna let it sit for about five minutes so I don't burn my mouth before I try it. And while that's cooling down just a little bit, we'll chiffon on some basil and we'll sprinkle some green stuff on here to bring this dish home. Not only is it gonna add a pop of color, but Italian food with, that's made with like a tomato sauce base blends so nicely with that basil. Mm, this smells really, really good and I can't wait to try this one. Uh, and again, like anytime we're like, we're using cast iron, uh, try to serve in this as much as possible. Not only does it like look really nice, it's very functional in the fact that cast iron stays warm for a really, really long time. So it keeps your food warm even though it's not cooking anymore. So here we're gonna take one of our sausages. We'll use a spoon to pick up some of these peppers and that beautiful sauce that it made. And again, it shouldn't be like super liquidy, but there should definitely be some liquid in the pan from all like the juice that was released from the vegetables in the sausage. Mm, this looks really, really, really good. Maybe just a little bit of extra juice too. Oh yeah. And sometimes sausage and peppers are made where they cut the sausage. I sometimes like to keep them whole uh, so the sausage doesn't dry out. You know, part of making the sausage is making sure that it's nice and juicy and like, look how juicy that sausage is. And a lot of it is because we didn't cut it and we kept it whole in the casing. So let's, let's, let's get a nice bite here. Let's put our peppers on there, at least a couple. So we got some peppers, we got some of those stringy onions. Mm. I mean, with just a single bite, I'm transported into my childhood. You know, this is something that we ate very often. You know, winter time, summer time, didn't matter. Like a sausage and peppers dish. This is on the menu 365. Mm. Mm. That is fabulous. Well, I'm Chef Ange. This is my sausage and peppers. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this dish and I hope you do too. Let me know in the comment section how yours comes out. Uh, click like on this video if you did like the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you can find out when I drop new great recipe videos just like this one every week. Thanks for watching.